Hello, welcome back to AG Engineering. Next job for the day, I've just been doing, uh, what was I doing? The Triumph Cylinder Head, Little Triumph Tiger Cub Cylinder Head. Um, I'm still in the garage, I've got another little job here. We've got a pair of uh, cob rods and uh, we've got some worn small end eyes in these. If I just get this gorging pin, I think one of them's not too bad. A little bit in that. Yeah, quite a lot in that one. If that can be seen on the... We can hear it rattling about. And that's sort of a three quarter inch 750th hour gorging pin. We've got some new bushes which are already pre-sized-ish. It says there you are. So they're a sliding fit, but once they're in the correct size bore, they'll be uh, they'll need reaming out or honing out a little bit. So the job of the day is to uh, bore these small end eyes out to take these bushes. And I've had a little preliminary measure. I think the bushes are. I've just wiped it off. 811 and 812, something like that. No, 817, 818, that was it. Um, thou on the OD. And the uh, the rod eyes on that one, it's 750, 751. That one is 753 to 755. Uh, so I'll set these up. Or one at a time in the mill and I'll show you how we do that how we get them centralized and that quite simple when you think about it and uh, let's go over there now well, there's the setup I'm using some soft jaws as parallel simply because they're wide and they support the rod well it's clamped at this end with a packer an aluminium packer in there so we don't damage the the jaw that side with just with point load sort of thing and then it's just supported on this and this this jaws just back a little bit from the edge of the where we're going to be boring there's a couple of bits on there just to stop it moving about and to centralize to get it roughly in position there's um an ar32 collet chuck with a three-quarter collet in it there holding up one of the gudgeon pins and i've got it kind of close and if we just slacken that off a little we can Get that and get that in there. And just hold that down. And tighten our rod down. Check that we're still clear underneath, which we are. That goes all the way through. And I've got enough clearance there to be able to bore for the, uh, the wall of the bush. And then I'll lock everything up and then I'll drop it down, put the boring end in. So back when the boring end's in. I've took a light scratch pass just to see where we are and we're uh, we're fairly fairly true there. So um, 878, 877 we're aiming for from 750 so I can take, take 10 thou in a hit. So we'll uh, and put some feed on. If I don't, I put five thou of cut, which is ten thou on the diameter. I've just put that onto the uh, the boring bar, and then we'll just take the table back up again. Lock that off. Um, we'll take a 5 thou cut and again it's 1,000. as usual I'm doing this dry probably till the, the final sort of finishing pass and I'll put a little bit of uh, WD-40 or similar on there I'll 
will come back when we get close because all this will just be the same, uh, same sort of operation. I'll have a quick measure. Where we are, where we're up to seven sixty seven sixty eight and a half roughly. So a bit more to go. where we are now after that one try and work around the camera Shooting for eight seventy seven for a foul fit. Oh, look at that! Just holding in there at that. Let's pan out a little bit. Eight seventy seven and a tenth. That's just holding it. Lovely. I'll get this one out and uh, I'll do the next one. Then we can look at a uh, bit of deburring and, and pressing the bushes in. That's both the rods board and the different sizes by about a thou each. Because the bush sizes are different, small end bush sizes. So they're numbered up one and two. Um, I've just got the bushes, and they're not pre drilled for the hole in the top of the rod. So, uh, approximately as close as I can get inside there where the scroll meets crisscrosses, I'll try to get the, a mark for the pilot hole. To drill that in, you you want it sort of at the top side. Your oil's going sort of down the sides. You don't just want it in. Push them in randomly and have it sort of in a blank bit where it won't flow. Such as the back of there, you've got to have it like the other way round, where the little cross scroll meets on both of them. So they're marked up approximately. I'll just pop a little hole in them on the pillar drill now. There's a couple of little holes drilled through and just slightly chamfered on the top for alignment and they line up with, if we could see that in there, with the cross of the oil scroll on both of those. So we're feeding oil down from the top along the scrolls to the full bush. Um, you can drill them afterwards when they're in the rods, some people do, but Unless you get a good dot on it, generally the the drill will try and wander into the, the softer aluminium and you can lose it. So I prefer to put these in, probably slightly smaller than the, the hole in the rod already, and then just line them up as I press them in. I'll go and get these pressed in. So I'll just support the the small end eye on an aluminium block and line up by eye a hole
I forgot something. And then put on the little press tool like that. A little bit fiddly, a little bit easier if you've got a bit of help. Someone to press the the bush. Press the uh, press. Oh, we got there. this in the camera and just pan back out a little bit the way there we go bush pressed in oil hole lining up put my finger in there now this needs reaming or honing to uh, to the goods have been sized because it'll have collapsed the wall down a little bit but the owner was uh, was happy to just do the final little bit of reaming and fit on his gudgeon pins. I've only got a couple of used gudgeon pins, I believe he's fitting new ones, so he might um, might like to ream the small end eye to that. I'll do the other one exactly the same now. And the second bush going in. cleaned up and uh, we'll uh, take a look at them. 